Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to implement Sturcher in C++. This can be an interview question where the interviewer will ask you to implement a Sturcher which basically finds a character in a string, returns to you the first occurrence of that character in the string if it's found, or null if it cannot be found in that string. So let's see how we can do that ourselves. Okay, before we jump into the code, I just want to make sure you have Visual Studio 2015 uh, installed on your machine. So make sure you go to this link here, download the community free edition of Visual Studio so that we can get started. All right, so how does Sturcher work? So as you can see from this web page, it says that Sturcher locate first occurrence of character in a string, returns a pointer to the first occurrence of character in the C string. So C or C++ is going to be the same code pretty much. As you can see, there's two versions here. There's one that takes a const char pointer and it takes an integer for the character it wants to find, returns also const char. There's another version that takes just a char pointer and returns a char pointer back. So I'm just going to stick to one. I'll probably just do the first one. All right, so let's just understand how this thing works. And maybe we can use this example here. Parameters, it takes a C string and a character to be located. It is passed as integer n, but it's internally converted back to char for the comparison. All right, so that's how it works. We're going to use this example. It's looking for the S char inside that string. It keeps looking for all occurrences of this character inside the string and the output is going to look something like this so this is exactly the same output that we should be producing from our implementation so let's see how we can do that okay so now i have visual studio up and running i'm going to hit file menu new project to create a new project so make sure you select visual c and select win32 console app and we're going to name this str chr hit ok then on the wizard hit next on this page i'm gonna uncheck precompile header and check the second sdl security stuff hit finish and then this is going to create a project for us okay so now we have this project i'm going to go back to that page and i'm going to select from this page this code so that i can use it for our own testing copy the code go back to visual studio and now we're going to select everything here by hitting on the keyboard ctrl a and then paste the new code in here ctrl v to paste everything okay so let's make sure this compiles and runs on the keyboard again hit ctrl f5 and then yes okay so as you can see here it's returning 4, 7, 11, and 18. These are the locations where it found the S character. So our code that we are going to write should return exactly the same output. All right, so cancel out of this back here. Let's start writing our function. So we're going to say const char pointer str chr and make sure you have S capital letter, C capital letter because we just want to use our own version in our testing. But this takes in a const char pointer p string and then an integer character i'm going to just call it c here all right so this is our function so the first thing we want to do is make sure we don't get a null pointer in so if p string is null we return null so the next thing we want to do is while the string is not empty by checking its content p string plus plus this is how you iterate through the string so now we say if contents of p string is c then return e string so we found it at this location just return the pointer at that location as they mentioned in the documentation you might just pass this to character in this function there's three points of return on a case where we have a null pointer when we find the character and lastly if we're out of this loop that means we couldn't find it so we should return null because it's nowhere to be found in this string so now next let's see how to test it i'm gonna replace this code with using my own version of that function so capital s capital c and then inside the while loop again capital S capital C now I think there's a little red squiggly here it's because the return pointer that they define is not constant I could just say const to avoid that warning this should do it all right so now that we have this code here let's make sure we read it again
and let's test it by running this code so control f5 on the keyboard to compile and run as you can see here now it's returning 4 7 11 18 which is exactly the same as the output that we got in here 4 7 11 18 okay so we're doing this correctly all right so that's how you implement searcher and C. now there could be other ways where you can improve on or just change this code let's try another way to do this code i'm gonna call this one searcher one and then copy this and paste it here i'm gonna call the second one searcher two in this one i just want to slightly modify the code by showing you another way to do this so while the string is not empty and contents of the, the character at this location is not C. So what is this doing is that as long as the string is not empty and we're still not able to find C, advance the pointer, move on to the next character, etc. till the end of the string. So once this while loop is done, we have one of two possibilities. We either found the C or we're at the end of the string. So what do we return here? If contents of B string is not null, then we return B string. Otherwise we say null. This means that if we are still at a character, return B string otherwise return null okay so now control f5 again to compile and run and see okay so now as you can see here it's actually returning the same 4 7 11 18 this is another way to implement it if you compare the two functions together you can see this is a more probably easier to read but it, this does the same thing while the string is not empty and we're at a character that's not c advance the pointer once we get out of this loop we have two conditions we hit the end of the string which is a null character in that case we return null pointer if we're at the end of the string and it's not null or, sorry if we're not at the end of the string we're, or a character that's not null it's most likely that this character is the c so return that location this is pretty much how we do searcher uh, there's another version of this function called searcher last which finds the last occurrence of this character in the string i'm gonna do that in the next video so if you're interested go watch that video as well all right that's it for this video i hope you find this useful please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and give me your feedback. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment or share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or like us on Facebook. See you in the next video.